Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the single biggest event in Star Citizen this year. I am your host Zeno, and welcome to the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2952. This year's expo is hosted by none other than Drake Interplanetary, a manufacturer most famous for the rather infamous use of its spacecraft by pirates and outlaws. However, they've been trying hard to remove this unfortunate reputation. And today, we are going to see one of the ships with which they hope to accomplish that. The theme of the IAE is the war at home, as it tries to focus on the inability of the Imperial Navy to be everywhere and combat every single threat, no matter how galactically insignificant. So instead, the civilians will have to take arms to protect themselves from everyday pirates. Quite ironic, isn't it? If you want to check out the IAE for yourself, you can find it in your Babbage or Microtech, in the now available Tobin Convention Center. Don't worry, CIG made it very easy to find this here. Just follow the signs, and there are lots of them. Since Drake Interplanetary is this year's host, they are also the first manufacturer to present their lineup of ships and vehicles in the IAE. They even prepared two new ships for us, one of which was teased only a few days ago. Drake shows us a multitude of ships, including fan favorites such as the Caterpillar, the Kraken, and all the variants of the Cutlass, including the new Cutlass Blue. Drake's attempt to cater towards the safety sector with quite a success, as the Cutlass Blue has become one of the standard vessels for civilian police forces. It is this vessel that we will take a look at first. The Cutlass Blue houses two blocks of six prisoner pods, used to detain criminals and outlaws during transport towards the nearest rehabilitation facility. While the screens for these pods might only be placeholders for now, they appear to show us information about possibly the cognitive condition of the detainee, or maybe they will show us information about their health, including possible injuries that may or may not have been caused by their resistance against police forces. The second ship that we're going to see is the new spacecraft called the Drake Cutter. Only teased a few days ago, it's quite the mystery, and with the slogan a cut above the rest, Drake and the Planetary shows us what power creep is all about. I mean good design. Yes, at the moment the Cutter is a starter ship that apparently is better in all aspects. It's supposed to have more modules, better shields, better speed, more space, more hit points and more hard points than all the other starter ships. But please keep in mind that that only refers to actual starter ships, which have been categorized as such by CIG. Maybe we'll see some balance changes to the ship soon, or maybe it won't be as powerful as it seems right now, but if it stays the way it is now, we have a new contender for best starter ship in Star Citizen. Its main features are a pilot seat that brings you up into the actual cockpit, as well as a surprisingly spacious cargo bay. What I personally like about the ship is the fast opening and closing of its ramp, as well as the sound it makes. I love great sound design and this sound just makes you feel like your cutter could fly through a debris field and come out unharmed. Oh and it's also a VTOL craft, making it potentially useful as an entry dropship for very small landing parties. Our next ship is the so-called Vulture. The Vulture is our second scrapping ship after the massive Reclaimer. It is an entry craft for the gameplay loop of ship scrapping as it is supposed to be a potential first step in a line of different ships that will all have to work together in order to get the maximum amount of profit from scrapping. Not much is known about scrapping in Star Citizen yet, but from what we do know, it won't just suffice to cut up a ship into giant chunks and then throw those into a shredder. Especially after the implementation of physicalized damage in the future, scrapping may turn into a very valuable skill requiring knowledge of the ships that you wish to scrap, as well as the ability to properly use your vessel to its fullest. For now, we have the Vulture, which has two entrances. A ladder on the side, which leads directly to the cockpit, and a back entrance that has a ramp and leads into the cargo hold, where you can also find a scrap processor of some sorts. Unfortunately, you can't rent the Vulture yet, or maybe your cannon was bugged for me, but I'm looking forward to start tearing ships apart after pirates plundered an unfortunate space trucker or merchant. In that sense, the name Vulture is remarkably fitting. 
Now let's look at the star of day one, the Drake Corsair. A ship that is remarkably ugly if you treasure symmetry over all else and for me it's definitely something I must get used to. But once we take a closer look, especially at its interior, we find all sorts of interesting design choices and even some quote unquote new mechanics. The three main selling points of the Corsair are its asymmetrical design featuring a straight wing and a V-shaped one, or two wings forming a V depending on your point of view. The larger wing has rockets mounted underneath it and each side of the ship has a manned turret that while not being able to shoot in front of the ship has a very large targeting angle, making the ship's lack of turning speed less of a concern and giving the ship incredible firepower for its size. Especially when you take into account that the pilots themselves have access to four size 4 and two size 3 weapons that are gimbaled. That's a lot of firepower for just the pilots. The Drake Corsair also features a big cargo space, where CIG's sound design shines again. When you press the mechanical button, nice touch by the way, you can open and close the cargo hold while enjoying the sound that apparently was stolen from a Transformers movie. It's sound design like this that gives us a sense of the Drake spirit when it comes to ship design. You're not going to get escape pods. But you also probably won't need them because this little powerhouse can defend itself so formidably that the amount of effort you'd have to put into destroying it doesn't seem worth it. If you like one of these ships then you're in luck. I will make separate videos for all of the new ships that are available, so if you want more information on said ships just check out the other videos on my channel. If you're missing a video about a ship just tell me in the comments and I'll make sure to come back to it or maybe I have not had the time to upload it yet. Anyway. Let's take a good look at the Drake Corsair during flight and enjoy some beautiful sceneries. This has been day one of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo and I've been your host Zeno. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for day two.